Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey Contino here and can you smell spring is finally in the air though we still have some cold nights in front of us. Today we're doing the video that you guys absolutely love and that is recapping all of the construction projects happening in the Wildwoods. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications and you give this video a thumbs up. A special thank you out to my patrons on patreon.com. It's because of them we can do videos like this. If you want to support this channel and have your name at the end of the video, all you have to do is click the links in the description below. Also, we're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and we're not too far away, so please make sure you are subscribed. Anyway, let's get started. For today's video, we're going to start in North Wildwood and make our way all the way down to Wildwood Crest. And the reason why we're starting in North Wildwood is because the Gateway Project is finally underway. You can see all of this fencing is now up. If you don't know the Gateway Project here, it's a mix of many different things. One, it's going to be a memorial park for our veterans. We're then going to have the first Gold Star Family Memorial right over here. And then we're also getting a beautiful park on this side. On top of that, where we're currently standing, they're going to be building a massive tower right here. It's going to say North Wildwood are welcome. And then there's going to be a fountain, park benches, beautiful trees and shrubbery. And I know it's hard to imagine right now, but within the next few years, this whole area, it's going to be gorgeous. And when you come into North Wildwood, it's going to feel absolutely beautiful and just look great. So far, crews have cleared all of the land and started dropping off a bunch of equipment, tools and other things needed for the project. And this is what the final product is going to look like once it's done. And as I said before, this is going to be a great thing for North Huawei. They really needed something here for when you enter that just will look so beautiful. Anyway, we've got a lot of projects we have to hit today, so let's continue. One of the biggest requests we always get for these videos, which by the way, if you don't know, if there's something you want to see, you can let me know in the comment section we include in the next video. The number one thing is what do the beaches look like? And we did a drone video showcasing the entire beach which I'll link in the description of this video. But right now we're at 12th and the beach to show you that there is pretty much no dune. You can look straight down, the water is right there. Now the New Jersey DEP has come down here and they are surveying things and North Wildwood is appealing their decision to not allow bulkhead here. But in March, we're known to get some crazy nor'easters, okay? So if we, even if we have a one, with a crazy storm surge. That water is coming straight through here and heading to these properties, the American Inn, and then heading straight onto the street. If that salt water and that sand get into our sewer system, which is literally right there, it's gonna cost millions of dollars in damage to fix it. So New Jersey DEP, I know you watch these videos because we've talked about it. What are you waiting for? Approve this bulkhead so we can extend it all the way down and protect the city and these businesses. It needs to happen. Let me show you what it looks like on the beach right now. Making your way over, you can see a lot of damage has already occurred on this side as the water came through. And nothing is stopped. Look, look, there's nothing here. There, this is just a straight shot. And you can see how much of the sand has been ripped out because this has never been out. In all the years we've been doing this, this is the first year where this standpipe is out fully. This morning, high tide came up to here. So imagine having high tide here and then a storm come blowing through. It's going to go straight all the way onto the streets. Hopefully within the next few days after we post this video, the DEP will finally approve something. We really need it, guys. We are now at Magnolia in Ocean because Kay's Oasis, it's coming together so nicely. You can see all the siding is up. They're getting ready to do all of the balconies and start working on the garage. One thing I love, builders, when you're building something down here, I want you to please take note of this. Look how much space you have for cars. Besides having the garage inside there, you also have all this space. You need this when you're building down here because we're running out of space on the streets. 
So if you plan on building something, this is exactly what you need, because now you can fit cars inside the garage and a car right here. And I think that's something, once again, that every single new condo when you build or a house, you need to have enough spaces for at least two to three cars. I mean, that garage goes back really deep. You could probably fit two cars in there and then maybe one and a half here. When I say one and a half, I mean like if you parked here to here and yeah, you could probably do one, two, three, even maybe, yeah, maybe about three cars here. Perfectly good for families when they come down here on vacation so they don't have to rely on parking on the streets. Since we're right down the way from Kay's Oasis, I figured let's stop by the old Nino's because there's a massive transformation taking place here and you know what place this used to be and how amazing their pies are. So it's so sad to see what's going on right now as they're ripping out everything inside. I mean, this looks like an old refrigerator, some kind of showcase. I mean, it's all being ripped out right now to prepare it for its next adventure. They have gutted the entire inside though. You can kind of look inside and see everything has been really been gutted. For this project, they had to gut the entire building and I was about to film down here and I just happened to look up. The floor is gone. <laughs> you can see all the way up to the ceiling. It's very bizarre to see that. So strange. So there's no floor and everything's been ripped out. If you look down this alleyway, you can see all the chairs and tables, more equipment. It is so strange to see this building so gutted, especially when you're just like me. I have so many memories, especially as a kid coming here, having amazing dinners and amazing desserts, and then it changed to Nino's, and that food was also amazing. So it's strange to see it like this. And of course, the Wobbled Boardwalk Project. Phases three, four, and five. As you can tell looking at this angle here, this is all done. There's a big section in front of Maury's Manor's Pier that needed to be reconstructed. They had to take out the whole section. They're rebuilding it right now. So this is still gonna be closed for a little bit longer. But the Cedar Avenue part almost looks like it's done. They're working on a little ramp here and there and then the sign at the end. I'll share that with you in a second. But really, I wanna get the seagull in the sky to share with you what everything looks like because it's coming together so quickly. That looks absolutely amazing, right? Let's head over to Cedar Avenue and share with you what it looks like from the ground because I love what they did over there. It looks fantastic. And this is what it looks like over here. You can see that this board's pretty much done. It looks great. Well, this was something that wasn't a part of the video. At least I didn't schedule this. But we're currently at Cedar Avenue, where we're gonna cover the boardwalk. This is where the go-karts are, and it looks like today they're demolishing the building behind us. Something I did not expect whatsoever. They're taking it down piece by piece. Half of the roof is gone on that side, and it looks like they're ripping up the floors literally this very moment. He's got the chainsaw in his hand, and he's getting ready to cut. So let me share that with you, because it's quite interesting to see. So let me know what you think about this project in the comment section below and let's continue to the next one. Currently we're at Garfield and Ocean and there is so much going on in this one area. I told you about three months ago that this whole area will look brand new and it will be. Behind us, the Ocean Sands Motel has been completely demolished and they're getting ready for the tiki bar called The Point. 
This is its third location and actually probably its largest. And since then, they've gone vertical. We now have foundations for the buildings and a lot of equipment is being dropped off to continue that. While this is going on, of course, if we pan to the left, we've got the Wildwood Boardwalk Reconstruction Project. But right now, look at the Boardwalk Mall. You'll notice a lot of different changes. First of all, they're adding in windows here. Why? This is becoming a bar. Honky Tonk Saloon is the name of it. It's country themed, obviously, because the Country Music Festival takes place literally right across the way right there. And it's funny, since we are here today, it just so happens they're adding a brand new sign to Captain Jack's, which is very doo y and I absolutely love it. I flew the drone over here just real quickly so you could see everything. Take a look. Come this summer, this place is all going to be brand new for you guys to enjoy. And I will say that come Country Festival, this is already happening, but I can imagine how packed all of these places are going to be. Keep in mind, this whole area is going through a massive renovation project. We've got the bins, which we'll go ahead and check out in a second. We have things happening on Pacific Avenue. A lot of great things are happening here. Within the next, I would say, seven years, a lot of these places are going to be refreshed and it's going to be so awesome to stay in this area. Anyway, let's walk over to the bins real quick and share that with you because they add a lot of do up elements to their building. We're now at Spencer in Atlantic Avenue because the Vibes Hotel slash Motel, it is coming together so nicely. Look at the new entrance. It has that takeoff roof, very do up. I love it. They're adding in the balconies. They're doing so much work. They're here seven days a week knocking out this building. This is what this looks like, and then we'll take you to the other side where the Benito used to be. This is where the new lobby is going to be. This is where you check in. And I love, they added about four of these in the entire building. One over here, one down that. We can actually see a little part sticking out. And then one in the other building, and then another one over here. Actually five, because they have one here and then one on the other side of the Benito as well. So this will be the main lobby. And as you could tell, everything is still in its studs. Though the original steps are there, which is kind of cool. You can kind of see the old railings. Remember that that was built, I believe, in the 1940s, and the other sections were done in the 50s. Now, over here, they have a little sign showing you what it's going to look like once it's done. We have these photos that we're going to share with you on the Wobble View Archive. And I love that yellow, and you can start seeing that yellow on the buildings back here. Those rooms are also completely gutted. They added in new windows, new doors, putting in new units. It's going to be as though it's a brand new hotel. I honestly can't wait for this. This area truly needed it. As you know, historically what this place was, and now this is gonna be one of the places you wanna stay at. I can't wait. We are now at the Sinclair gas station is because the jerky place is now out. There's an amazing place that's coming here called Buen Augusto, and this is their third location. We are touring the other location for another video coming very, very soon. They have gourmet food that is reasonably priced. And when I say gourmet food, I mean top of the line stuff, stuff that competes with the other restaurants over here. And these desserts that I've tried so far are phenomenal. I cannot wait until this opens because I guarantee you, this is gonna be a fan favorite on the island, open year round during the summertime. They'll also be open 24 seven. How awesome. I'll have another video once again coming on that, but that's what's coming. At Mud Hen, there really isn't much to see except for the fact that the walls are going vertical. It's going to look gorgeous once it's done. Here's a photo of what it's going to look like. And so this whole corner is going to be gorgeous once it's done. It's going to be connected here and they can have some awesome events. You can have like your wedding reception on this side and stay down the street because they also have the hen house is all the way down there. We're gonna finish out our video on Rambler Avenue because there's a lot of projects taking place over here, starting off with the lifeguard station. This is the Wildwood Crest Lifeguard headquarters. And as you could tell, they're finally putting on the siding. The windows are installed. The brand new roof is on there. It honestly looks amazing. And now you can't really hear it, but they're working on the inside, getting everything upgraded and ready to go. The building honestly looks great. I love this color scheme they have going on. Because remember that this is gray and the roof is blue. They haven't touched the balcony just yet, but they installed the new door. 
and all the material, it's already here. So they're moving fairly quickly. And the last spot we're talking about is Madison Resorts. And you're probably saying, Joey, can we do a tour? Believe it or not, I had the honor to do a full walkthrough of the entire building and we filmed the whole thing for you. It's gonna be on this channel very shortly, but right now, this is what you need to know. This part of the building is gonna be opening in mid-April. They're working really hard, they're painting, they're doing overtime, they're here, what I mean here every single day working, they are. The other building, which is the Royal Hawaiian, it's not called that anymore because both of them together is Madison Resorts, that will be open later in May. So this one will be a soft opening in April, that one later on in May, Memorial Day weekend, and right now, crews are working overtime, like I said before. So that video should be out very shortly. And right now, here's just a little tease of the drone footage. That was just a little tease of what Madison Resorts is going to look like. I am so ecstatic. This is honestly gonna be the gem of Wildwood Crest. And I'm very happy on how this lobby turned out. Let me know what you think of that in the comment section below. And guys, that's the whole Wildwood's reconstruction video. Which project are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the boardwalk, the Tiki Bar, the Honky Tonk. There's so many great projects. If there's something that we missed, let me know in the comment section below, and next time we'll be sure to include it. And I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you on the beach, which is right over there. I'll see you later. Bye.